the light is gonna act like the jellyfish light and I'll replace those lights with jellyfish. Currently the night before the actual shoot that we're gonna go to tomorrow, which like tomorrow we're gonna end up going out to the Black Spur, which the Black Spur is that place where we went to to like- I'm gonna have to drop it soon because it's getting really hot. Oh my God! As if you're still holding that, oh my God. Don't do that by the way. I've seen you guys been tagging us in these photos of you lighting yeah. newspapers on fires. We just had a big ass shoot today. We had a big ass shoot yesterday. It's currently 12 a.m. We have to go to bed now. We have to wake up super early tomorrow morning, like 4.30. Four and a half hours of sleep at best. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get up, but let's see if we can do this. This is how I feel. <laughs> oh my God. Dude, I literally feel drunk. Hey bro, what's going on? Whose yeah, idea was this again? <laughs> this is my idea, mate. I don't function any other time than this time in the morning. What do you mean? <laughs> do you ever shoot in the city? No. I'll shoot portraits in the city, but very, very rarely. What do you like about the country versus the city? I like minimalism. Like I really like a very simple frame and I think you can't really get that in the city. I love the look of like a completely empty beach, deserted woods. How many hours do you put into like one edit on a photo, for example? Up to eight. Eight to ten hours. Ten hours on a photo? Dude, I just slap a preset on it and <laughs> she's good to go, mate. Today, going out to the Black Spur, what I was thinking would be cool, if we took the same photo and then I do an edit and then you do an edit and then we compare them afterwards and see the differences. You better not shit on me, bro. <laughs> if you shit on me... Mate, you get shit on like mates enough already. So. Yeah, I know. The actual reason why we ended up getting up so early in the morning is because there's supposed to be a lot of fog at this place. If there's no fog here, I'm gonna crack it. When Hayden said Thursday, it was gonna look better on Wednesday and he's forced me out on Thursday. I'll tell you what, I'm nervous. Did, wait, did your mate actually say that it was gonna be foggy? Yeah, he said fog. So, so. Dude, literally Ow! out of nowhere. What? Look how close we are. We're right there. It's been nowhere this whole time. We look up, we go around the bend, and it's just like... <laughs> what? <laughs> Even that's a cool photo just like that. Whew. It's definitely a little bit cold, though. My nipples are like five miles long. These lights are going to look sick because of the fog. Oh, we got a friend. Holy f What's happening? <laughs> what the f What's going on? What's, going? What's happening? I'm ben, by the way. How you going? Nice to meet you. See you far away, Aiden. Good night, dude. Hey! <laughs> yeah, Tom literally, he said to me that like, he was so just like bringing like a maid out or something. I'm like, oh, who's this guy? And he's like, oh, <laughs> just some random guy. Out. Yeah, so surprised. Lamont with like, he's got like the full on mask and everything. <laughs> Are you a Jedi or something, bro? Yeah. Oh, the fog's going away. It's this way, but it's just it's not this down. way. Yeah. Okay, well, we should make the most of it quickly then because right. if it's going away, it looks like it's going away pretty quick. So we'll have to shoot this way. How are they coming along? Are we getting some bangers? Point them out a little bit further. Yeah, we're getting bangers. All right, we're getting bangers. We're getting bangers. Yeah, nice. I haven't actually seen the photos properly, but so far, <laughs> like you guys are saying that we got some bangers. So right now we're going to a different location. Keen to shoot more with the lights. So I'm really hoping we can find some more fog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you find a new photography this location, is it's just dope. Are we just, should oh. we get out here and have a look? Oh, yeah. yeah, let's okay. go. Look at this in here. Just so symmetrical. Woo! Oh my God. You think you have to go to the city for symmetry? Think again, mate. This is one of the most symmetrical paths I think I've ever seen in my life. So are we gonna lift off two drones at the same time? Absolutely. Which one do you reckon would win in a race? The Mavic or the Phantom? Should we do I a race? <laughs> yeah. Or do you think that's a bit too risky? That will make it work. Yeah? Trees. Maybe above them, not below them. No, below them. Be below them. Mate, these guys need to be able to film it. True, yeah. yeah <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> this is going to be a pisser. So Le Mans is going to be the finish line over there. He could crash it into the other drone, but also like there's trees around as well. What do you mean? How confident are you? You feeling confident? I'm, I'm not very confident purely because of the size, but... Yeah, what about you? Are you, are you feeling... fuck around. I got this. You got this? Got this. The arrogance on him. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh my god! Looks like the Phantom's the winner! Oh my god! Oh, look at you, Mr. Arrogant, you're lost! What do you have to say I for yourself? Just let me out of the box! <laughs> I know you just bought these, but what if we could incorporate those two as like a bat of some kind and we hit something, like we just hit a tree, <laughs> see if we can get some like particles going. Two, one. It needs to be like more of a club. That went all over me. <laughs> it's hard to see because it's kind of bad. It's yeah, and it blends yeah. in with the background a lot as well. You're gonna sit up here. All inspired by Callot before you haters start saying we're copying. You're gonna get Hayden here. I'm gonna put some jellyfish in the shot and post. So we jellyfish? can make it look like Hayden's reaching out to some jellyfish. Are you able to do that, yeah, jellyfishies? 100%. Oh, so you think you're better than all of us, do ya? Huh? Maybe I should try and Photoshop a jellyfish. It'll look like Squidward. <laughs> Imagine that. Well, that would actually be dope. Like, if you could do it. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> How do you feel entitled enough so that someone can actually hold that for you? Huh? Well, that's why Ben's here. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a prop man. Like, yeah. come on. The light is going to act like the jellyfish light, and I'll replace those lights with jellyfish. And then, sort of like. Yeah, nice. Ooh, yeah. yeah now I guess we're gonna have to put your editing skills to the test. Alrighty, I apologize if I sound really stuffed up right now. I just got really sick overnight. Last night's sleep was ridiculous. I reckon I got about two hours of sleep or something. It's good because like I went out with like different people, shoot with Tom and like see how he shoots. He shoots on Canon by the way as well, like completely different to Sony. After seeing him shoot on Canon, like the color science and everything, I'm like, man, it's kind of hard because I love Sony so much, but I'm looking at the Canon and I'm like, I might get that sometime in the future. He shoots on the one D and it's absolutely incredible. Also going out to meet Ben, the, the guy that like lost his shit when he saw me, like he was so cool. So the first photo that we ended up taking was just this one of Le Mans. Like I really like this because of the fog. I would have liked there to be like a lot more fog because like the more fog there is, the more mood there is in the image. But I do really like the contrast of like the blue light and like the red light. Also we have the backlight of the car. I think that that looks really cool. You can't really go wrong with these lights. So you got that really nice compression and that bokeh is super smooth. But the photos that I really liked was, if you don't know Kalop, his Instagram is just ridiculous. Like he does all of these like light photos and substitutes the light with a Photoshop edit of something like a majestic magical object or something. We ended up using these light bars to substitute some sort of object. We all ended up editing the same photo, me, Lamont uh, and Tom, we ended up doing a, a different edit. This is the original. It's a nice portrait. We got like nice bokeh in the background with like the light hitting the trees, so we got the nice circular bokeh. This is my edit. I ended up just like getting some PNGs of some galaxies off Google Images. And I ended up putting them into Photoshop, putting like a screen mode or a lighten mode or something. I can't even remember what it was. And then I like duplicated the layers and like added a Gaussian blur to it to make it look like they were glowing a lot more. And then I added a little bit of like some like lighting effects in Lightroom just to like make sure it looks sort of like a little bit more realistic. I thought that this was pretty cool, like especially considering it's the first time for me to actually do this. I'm not like used to Photoshop at all. I actually suck at Photoshop. Considering I was able to sort of pull off like just a slightly sort of cool image out of it and it doesn't look too fake, I was pretty proud of this. But then I ended up seeing Le Mans and Tom's and I was like, 
Like, <laughs> you have like the moon right next to my head. He ended up actually adding that lighting in in post. So there was no light there. As opposed to mine, there was no light there at all. So he ended up like drawing that in. The earth looks pretty damn realistic. Also the fact that he like, I forgot what it's called. Like when you do that on the face, makes your skin like really smooth. Thanks Lamont for making my, me look uh, perfect. Cheers. <laughs> and then the last one, Tom's one. He just like blew it out of the park. It's really simple. Just like some glowing jellyfish, but I think that what makes it so good is how realistic it looks. Like along with like the filter and the edit he ended up like putting on it, the glow from each of these jellyfish is so realistic and you got nice bokeh from it. It's super interesting to see like the different editing styles of all of us. I really liked it. I've, I found that to be like a lot of fun. That was a really cool shoot. I'd probably rate that about an eight and a half out of 10. Super fun meeting the guys. Question of the day. Hey man, would you ever consider doing a longer episode where you include all the editing as a tutorial? sort of thing. I have done the, these sort of videos before. I don't like enjoy them nearly as much as the vlogs, uh, but I do know that they provide a lot of value to people, especially if they want to learn about Photoshop and Lightroom. I think the only problem is, is I'm not like the greatest when it comes to Lightroom and Photoshop. I'm much better at like making videos than like the whole photography side. That said, I do know what I'm doing like to an extent. So I think that I'll do it in the future. I was thinking about like twitching it or like something like live streaming or something. Anyway, if you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll catch you next time.